From version 12.1 onward, we're pleased to announce FL Studio is now officially compatible with Waves plugins. So in this tutorial, we'll explain how to install and use them. Let's start at the Waves activation page, where the basic installation process is outlined. I'll download the Waves online installer package. This allows you to download any or all Waves plugins. After opening it, I'll select the latest version. OK, so after carefully reading the licensing agreement, I'll accept the terms and press Next. If you choose the default install locations, FL Studio will have no problem locating the plugins. Now this is the step where you choose the plugins you've purchased. In this case, I'm going to select one knob louder. It's in the single plugin section. And after checking the selection is correct, install. And we're finished. Now notice Waves have also installed another application, the Waves Licensing Center. This will allow you to activate your Waves plugins. After logging in, you'll notice that you have at least one connected device. That's your PC. And it's also a possible destination for your licenses. To do that, just select it as a destination. Alternatively, if you want to use your Waves plugins on more than one computer, you can connect any USB drive and Waves can use that as a portable key. In this case, I'll just license my studio PC. Next, view all licenses and select those you want to activate. There's the one knob louder and I'll send it to my PC. Licenses successfully sent and I'm done. OK, let's start FL Studio and scan for our Waves plugin. From the Plugin Database folder in the browser, you can click the Plugin Database tab to focus it. Right click on the folder and select Manage Plugins. You can access the Plugin Manager from the Options file settings too. Now make sure the Verify Plugins option is selected and Combine Presets for Identical Plugins plus Combine presets for VST2 and 3 plugins. These options will make sure you use the VST3 versions as these are supported by Waves. Finally, start scan. This can take a little while depending on how many plugins you have. Scrolling down the list, you'll see the newly installed plugins featured. In this case, there's a mono and stereo version. I'll select the favourite switch on the one knob louder stereo as that's the one I'll be using in FL Studio. The switch means it will show as a favourite under the FX slot Add Effects menu, as you can see here. It will also show in my Plugin Database Favourites folder under Effects, as I made it a favourite earlier. And you can see it under the Installed Effects VST3 category. And there are the mono and stereo versions of the plugin. If you like, you can drag and drop from the browser to any mixer track or mixer track effects slot. Well, that's it. Let's take our new Waves plugins for a spin. Enjoy. Enjoy. 